Hey guys, it's Agent Juicy here today. I'm going to break break it down for you on uh, BlackBerry Tech, well, BBM in Android. So let's get started. So first off, what I'm going to do is uh, you're going you're gonna to hear, so I'm going to just type in a couple words like, hey, and a whole, I don't know if you guys can see this, but anyways, if you can't, it's totally fine. So I'm going to hit the send button in three, two, one. And what I want you to focus on is on the BlackBerry phone. So three, two, one, go. And I just sent it, and then you could literally see it right there. The message was updated, and then the noise plays. So there's a little uh, microsecond delay there. And that's my biggest knock about BBM on the Android. So we're going to, you know, obviously, if we're testing something, we're going to replicate it and see how good it is. So I'm going to type off off screen, and uh, I'm just going to say, hey. <laughs> and I'm going to send a couple uh, of the BlackBerry 10. Oh, no, no sad face. This is a happy day. BBM's on uh, Android, so this is a happy day. So let's put some smiley faces there. So I'm going to send this message right here. I don't know if it shows up on the camera. But anyways, we're going to send it anyway. Hopefully you guys could see how it looks. So we're going to hit send, and you're going to see it's almost instantaneously. Uh, and you get that microsecond delay right there. So this is awesome, 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 awesome. Like, freaking awesome. And then you could, like, ping the person. So you could send the ping, and the ping is almost that of uh, the BBM notification noise. Anyway, so in the options now, what you do have here when you swipe over to the right, if you want to call it, you get uh, invite more contacts, attach, send, ping, copy chat, and chat. So we're going to attach something. So what we're going to send basically is we could take a picture, choose from your gallery, or voice note. In the voice note, you have up to two minutes of uh, recording pretty phenomenal I think before it was like 30 seconds so in so what else could we do so we're gonna go back in the same chat and uh, as you can see right here I'm gonna show you one more thing with uh, what you could attach so you could get to take a picture and like I said the gestures work and touching the screen through a camera is a really <laughs> It's really weird for depth of perception. Anyways, so you can take a picture. The camera works really good. You know, the tap to focus, all of that stuff. Uh, it works. It focuses. You could basically send a picture. Um, so it works. Everything in BBM works. It works with speed. It works really fast. Um, so I'm just going to go a quick walkthrough of the actual device. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to swipe over. You get basically your contacts layout. So you get chats, contacts, groups, updates, and uh, invites. Uh, in the center now, what you do have here, it's your live chats that's uh, going on. Then right here, what you do have, it's uh, basically all of your group contacts and all that stuff. I won't show too much. And you have the ability to change those from the lines or the, from the lines across to like a nice block grid or if you want. Uh, so then you have groups. And then to the right, like, you, like I said, you have help, settings, uh, invite to BBM, create groups, and join groups. So in the settings, though, uh, in the settings, what you will see, basically, it's uh, on the very top here, which I'm not showing. It's basically your BlackBerry ID, which works. Everything works with email. It does not work with your cell phone number, if someone's going to ask that. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> someone's going to ask it. It works with your email, so if you lost this device, you could basically sign in to a new BlackBerry device and get that information. So what you could see, you could change the LED notifications to depending on what colors you have. So that's pretty good cost customization. Uh, I don't think WhatsApp and Viber does that. They, they're going to copy it, but, uh, you know, it was here first. Anyway, so then you get all the notifications. You could get, basically, well, you can't really play it for you guys, but you get the custom BBM notification. That's beautiful. You don't really want to change that too much or customize it. And then you can see the version right here is... Uh, 10 dot, well, 1.0.042, uh, and then you could basically, that's pretty much it for BBM, guys, so there's not much to say. Uh, if I had to say, in terms of BBM, where does, like, what similarity does this BBM show, I'd have to say it's identical to that on BBM 6 or OS 6 or OS 7. The reason that I said that, it does not have VOIP and it does not have uh, Skype or video vi video to video uh, over BBM, if you want to call it that. And uh, you know what, that's totally fine. If you want those features, get a BlackBerry 10, right? Because it does it really good, it has a high def camera. 
so that's pretty much it let me guys, you guys tell me what do you want to see on bbm like i asked this question on my channel and i got a really good response so let me know what you want to see on bbm uh do you want to get the bbm keyboard on like your android or uh ios device you know let me know um so that's bbm walkthrough and then that's pretty much it there's not much else to show you guys it's very basic, it's very simple, it's beautiful, it's the best messaging service, I think, in my opinions, and I, people are going to knock me for that, but it works really well. Anyways, guys, this is Agent Juicy, uh, Agent J, just give me a like, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, tell me something down below about the BBM on Android, and I'll see you guys in the next video.